Christy Lynn from Learning the Harp and today we're talking about how to play faster. Now this is something that people often ask me, how do I go from playing this piece slowly to being able to play it fast or I can only play slowly, playing fast just seems such such a difficult thing and the thing is that learning to play fast is not a separate thing all on its own it's actually a symptom of other things behind the scenes that are working well so let me tell you a little story of what this looked like with my own playing when I first started learning to play the harp I had a really amazing teacher who helped me very well with some things but there were a few little gaps in what I learned and one of those things was to do with playing fast so I learned a piece and I wanted to be able to play it faster. And I asked my teacher, why can't I, like I'm practicing well, I don't understand why this piece isn't getting any faster. And I really wanted her to help me to get better. And she just said, oh, just keep on practicing. It'll get faster with time. That's just how it happens. But I, I just felt convinced there's something behind this that I'm unable to play fast and there's a reason for it. And through watching YouTube videos and looking more into what I needed to change about my playing, I realized that there were some foundational things that were stopping me from being able to play fast. It wasn't the speed that was the problem. So what I found is as I started to work on some of the foundational things about my playing and fix up some of those details, I actually was able to play faster without focusing on how to play faster. So for example, for me, it was about how I was keeping my thumbs up and my fingers down and plucking properly down into my palm. Um, I tended to pluck more like this and that meant that when I was crossing over and under, it was difficult to do that fast. But there can be other reasons for it too. One really common problem with learning to play faster is that we're not bracketing and placing properly. And what I mean by that is placing all your fingers together when, they're, when the notes are going in a certain direction, and this is indicated by brackets. We place that group of notes together, and then when we play them one by one, we can play them quickly rather than finding the notes as we go. So I want to show you a little example of this from my arrangement of the song Clocks. So in this song we need to be able to play fast and that's really what makes this song an, a more advanced piece is the speed and the fact that it's quite loud and rhythmic um, and so this is what it'll sound like. So now I'm able to play that quite fast and still play loudly and get a good tone out of it and it's not a problem because of what I'm doing with how I pluck the strings. So what I'm doing there is I'm plucking over with my thumb, down into my palms with my fingers and I'm also placing these three notes in a bracket and then I'm placing each note as I go well in advance and it also means that I can play without watching and without looking for every single note because every note is joined to the note that I played just beforehand. By contrast, if you are just going to pluck each note in the way that our hands kind of naturally want to go and you don't do the placing and bracketing like I was showing you, you're going to have a much harder time playing fast and you're also going to get a lot more tension in your hands. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, often we play like this and we're plucking each note. It's, you can hear it's harder for me to play loudly and I have to use my eyes to watch, to look for every note. Like, and if I get faster, I'm feeling tension on the back of my hand and I wouldn't be able to play the whole piece. It's really hard work. And I can't get that same sound out of my harp either. So overall, I'm not gonna be able to play fast, I'm not gonna be fit to play a whole piece, and it's not gonna sound as good. And if the piece had crossing over and under, this would be even more obvious because that's when having the thumbs up and the fingers pointing down is really important to be able to play fast. So if you're wanting to play faster, rather than focusing on playing faster, you need to go back to the basics and check that you've got all of these things in place. Are your thumbs up and your fingers plucking down into your palm consistently? Are you always doing your bracketing and placing in a group or are you falling into the trap of plucking the notes one by one? And it's quite difficult to focus on all of these things when you're also learning a challenging piece or you're trying to work out the notes. So when I was fixing these things about my technique, I went back to easier pieces and made sure that I could really consistently apply these things before I 
I went back up in complexity and challenged myself with harder pieces again. When you're practicing on your own, it is quite hard to consistently apply these things and make sure that your technique is really good and you're learning a song. So that's why when I created my video courses, I made sure that I give you all the reminders and take the brain work out of it so that you can focus on learning the song and you just follow what I tell you to do and there we go. You end up applying the things about your technique along the way. So if you've never tried one of those courses before, I really suggest you give it a try. If you click over here, you can have a look at what we have on offer. Maybe you want to learn clocks or maybe something a little bit simpler. I'll see you there. Bye. Okay, cool. <laughs> Woo, and Pokara? <laughs>